a small technical part that is required for a very large machine. Like for gas-fired power plant turbines, the technology consists of thousands of these precision metal parts. To do this, the components have to be milled to the nanometer and made to fit. But one Spanish company has an alternative. Their metal parts come out of a printer ready to use. Will this kind of technology replace conventional production in the future? This is what their 3D printer for metal looks like. And that's what it can do. The experts call it additive modeling. That means that no material is milled away, but the shape is created by permanently applying new layers using laser technology. The idea came from Lucas Hoppe, the founder of the startup Meltio. For us, what we really want is a machine that's autonomous and super easy to use. So we made our own interface, and basically what you do here is you load your part. Once you have your part loaded in the location where you want it to be, then all you have to do is close the door and test print. And uh, you get all of the process information down here, you have your printing parameters up here. So far, they have sold over 300 3D printers to industrial customers. The cost per machine, around 200,000 euros. There are different versions like this compact printer, or this one with a robotic arm, which can produce very complicated shapes. Many companies today lack the specialists who can still do this. A lot of problems that our customers are facing is uh, trying to replace uh, a specialized workforce that doesn't exist anymore in some of the more traditional jobs. But more and more industrial customers want to make their own spare parts and printing is the solution. However, this takes time. It can take up to 20 hours before a part is ready. The laser printer uses metal wires of different alloys which are fed via wire spools. However, printers are not yet able to produce all alloys of special steel and the object size is limited. The Meltio company is located in northern Andalusia in Linares, an impoverished former mining town. The inventor of the technology chose this location because there was already a company here in Spain that specialized in 3D printing technology. He was able to benefit from this, such as in marketing. According to the startup, it's precisely because of the high unemployment rate of around 30% that it's easy to find new people. We started out as a really small team, now we're 100 people, and you know, I'm going to say every week there's somebody new. The objects that their printers produce, ship propellers, injection nozzles such as in the chemical and food industries, and pipes for gases and liquids. The printers can print up to two meters in length or in two parts, such as this exhaust pipe from a car manufacturer. And uh, this is a, a very complex design that was a, able to be manufactured in two components with uh, our robotic integration system, then would need some machining. Machine processing is what the head of technology means by milling. The company has developed a 3D printer that can do both, printing and then milling and polishing until the printed parts are shiny and as smooth as glass. This is uh, the, the base plate where we started printing on top, then we would uh, cut it off or machine it out. The company is profitable, but the profits are not paid out to investors. They want to reinvest all surpluses. Our aim is to become the reference and it's like changing how metal parts are manufactured in the world. And you know, for this, we need to grow. They don't want to get rid of the old technology, but change the market instead. These 3D printers are ready for shipping. This one is packed up and ready to go to the US, to a car manufacturer that wants to become more independent from suppliers with a new 3D printer from Spain.